In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the behavior of the no opener rel value in your external HTML links in an attempt to hopefully convince you to always explicitly include this value when you're linking externally. So let me just start here. And I think the demonstration is going to be the most powerful thing. I, I have this uh, simple HTML page with a single link and the code associated with that is um, in index.html. So it's just linking to a page called page.html. We're opening up a, a new tab, target equals blank. And then we are explicitly saying opener, and that's pretty much the opposite of what no opener does. So let's see what happens when we click this link and pretty much what we expected it to. It opens up a new tab that is uh, page.html. Now, I do have Chrome DevTools open here, which allows me to access um, some of the page elements. And one of those elements is the window.opener.location value. L-O-C-A-T-I-O-N. And this is where um, an external link somewhere could uh, access this property and change it, right? So you know where we came from. This is where we came from, right? If we set that to a different value, such as malicious.html, this is a page that exists, that is automatically going to change the location of the previous page to something, you know, quote unquote malicious. And this could be um, something that you uh, like an ad, something that you don't want people to see, something dangerous, something like that. And that is a huge vulnerability and why you should always include no opener in your external HTML links. Now, that was a manual process of um, redirecting to the malicious page. You could also do that automatically with a script. And let me show you what that would look like. So let me edit page.html. And this is all page.html looks like right now. But if I add a simple script down here at the end of the body that looks something like this, if we have access to the window.opener value, let's set the window.opener.location to malicious.html. So let's save that. We'll get out of here. We'll come back to our original page, refresh it, and now without any manual intervention from me, we're gonna click this link, we're gonna open it, that script's gonna execute, and the original page is gonna be redirected to uh, a dangerous page. And this dangerous page could be, um, let's go through, so like an advertisement to for somebody to make money off of, it could be an identical Facebook login screen that you know, the user thinks, oops, I got logged out of my Facebook or social media account, and now I have to log back in, and they're going to put their real credentials in, and the, the middleman, the hacker, is going to steal those credentials and compromise their account. That could be the same thing for an email account, anything like that. They can spoof that and uh, steal credentials that way. So let's show you the behavior of no opener. And I think you could probably guess at this point what that's going to look like. So if we don't explicitly specify opener and instead we explicitly specify no opener, we'll save that. We'll go back to our original page, refresh it. And now when we click on this link, you know that script is going to automatically execute. We're going to click on that link and the previous page remains the same because this page does not have access to the no opener value. And we can see that window dot opener i'm sorry this page does not have access to the opener value opener and if we look at that it's going to be null there we we can't window dot opener dot location even if we try to assign it something malicious.html we can't set anything to null that's just not possible so i have um i hope that does a justice of explaining what that does and actually before i show you the other resource uh, let's see what the browser does by default right because the browser might override um, or have a default value for what happens and for google chrome uh, I, i'll spoil the surprise the google chrome's default is no opener so if we do not specify a value a rel value either open or no opener, um, it's going to default to no opener, which is a good thing for security. But it's always also good to explicitly specify that just in case your user is using an older browser or something like that. So here we, li we link to the external page and nothing happened to the original page. Okay, now, like I was saying, there is also this uh, this resource that I want to introduce you to. And I have this link down below on my website. 
and it goes through, I'll full screen this, it goes through um, the same exact type of example that we just did. So here's an example of opener, no opener, and uh, the browser's default. So again, if we click on the link that has the opener value, you'll see that the previous link up here is redirected to a malicious page. I hope that was valuable for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Got some other videos about other rel attributes and I will see you over there.